Hello everyone, Loon here, back with another Remnant 2 DLC video. In this one, I'm going over the ending to the DLC and talking about the different choices you have and all the rewards you can get for them, as well as showing the ending. So here are all the different outcomes that you can get. First, you can kill the one true king and he drops the Agony Spike. Used to craft the weapon you can see here called Monarch, one of the best weapons in the game. The second option when killing the king is to equip the one true king sigil, the assassin's dagger and the crown of the red prince and he will have an alternate drop called tormentor's pommel. You can use this to craft the wrathbringer weapon so you have two weapon choices here when you kill the king. Next if you spoke to Nimue before you spoke to the one true king and you kill him then you can return to her and you can earn the jewel of the beholden ring which is an item that will increase your mod damage by 15% for 10 seconds after using a relic. If you speak to the one true king and you agree to kill Nimue, then you speak with her and you change your mind and you decide to save her instead, you will receive Nimue's blood marred vow after you've killed the one true king. And that is an item that can be used to craft the gift of the unbound amulet. Lastly, if you decide to kill Nimue, then she drops the Broken Heart Relic. Then the One True King will still try to kill you, so you can just defeat him as normal, or you can equip all the gear to get his alternate reward. So two playthroughs are required to get everything, one where you save Nimue, and one where you don't, as no matter what, you fight the One True King. Just make sure, if you decide to save her, make sure to speak with her before talking to the One True King to get her ring and make sure when you speak with the one true king that you agree to kill Nimue so that way you can talk with her and change your mind so you can get her second reward which is the blood marred vow then you can kill the king so you can get three rewards in once and then you can play again to get the other two but i hope that helped you guys figure out what to do in the end of the dlc enjoy the rest of the video and i will see you in the next one wash in a strange land how curious Pretty tell. I am Namue. I anticipated as much. Speak. Ah, when the one true king is deposed at the hands of those he trusted most, the cost our precious kingdom suffered was greater than we ever could have imagined. Convinced of the plot's merits, I lent my power to the treachery, bewitching a dagger that it may be capable of killing a god such as he. At the last moment, I realized the folly of my actions, and secretly altered the spell to instead lull him into a deep slumber. Aside from sparing the Fae his brutality, I had no way of knowing this act would affect our world, much less in so dire a manner. For one true king was spared his regicide, but by means of a dark magic, two kingdoms twined, our beloved kingdom of the Fae and the unfamiliar world of the Dran. By the hand of the one true king, he is the most powerful being in this world. More so than even myself. He alone is capable of such an act. Though I played a part in his betrayal, I alone am the one who brought him back from his eternal slumber. My reward was a delayed death. That I might consider my betrayal and amply feel the weight of it. Be advised, strange one. Do not underestimate the one true king. Nor trust him in his present state of madness. To do so would surely be your last mistake. I wish you well of your many journeys ahead. Footsteps, the putrid smell of mortality, another traitor, or a wayward child in need of suckling. Tell me, who dares 
Who dares disturb the one true king's solitude? Speak, or lose your tongue! I have heard as much from traitorous tongues. Filthy lies! Be warned that I suffer no fools. If you wish to live, prove your loyalty by slaying the duplicitous lesser goddess Numue. Or raise your pathetic hand against me and your mortal suffering ends here and now. Which will it be? secluded prison tower. Kill her, traveler, and make certain that it is neither quick nor painless. Make her writhe in pain! Do that, and I shall reward my patience with thin mortal. Yet, I am curious. What simple ponderings preoccupy rotten beasts such as yourself? I shall allow it. You may ask your question with haste. Duplicitous mortal, you know more than you let on. None you way betrayed me. Betrayed the one true king colluded with filthy apostates to place me in an unending slumber! Insufferable sorceress! For a god, a king, to be rendered as powerless as a child! It was humiliating, insidious! I have brought justice to the savages she colluded with. She was spared, that she may repent and feel the weight of her shame. Now, it is time she met the same fate. of the faith. My people. Heathens. Savages. They respond only to cruelty. Without said cruelty, they would fall into chaos. This world would be awash in blood and agony. If only they were as docile as those dran creatures. A goblet of cruelty to prevent an ocean of turmoil. It is a fitting exchange. And they, they reap what they have sown. I cared for them, looked after them, and they betrayed me. They are lucky I do not engulf this whole world in flames. Such is the weight of my crown. Namue, the Lady of the Lake, confidant turned traitor. Even now she is bound by her treachery and my shackles. Find her in her secluded prison tower. <laughs> know that you are little more than a pest 
flittering about at the feet of a goddess. That is why I shall deign to temporarily grant you the power to do my bidding. To that end, take this. Your orders are clear. Do not return until the deed is done. I have spoken. Take your leave now. Strange one returns, and yet something has changed within your heart. I can tell by the look upon your face and the pained awe that surrounds you. You have met the king. No, do not attempt to deny it. I see all. So the hour of reckoning has come at last. Very well. The Mad King wishes you to kill me out of vengeance for my part in the betrayal that cursed his mind. As for myself, I wish to be spared, that I might one day remedy the ills that I unwittingly unleashed upon this world. Because I am the only one who might set things right. And I am close, so close. I simply need more precious time. Yet I know how you mortals operate. Rest assured that a handsome reward awaits you in the wake of such mercy. Like this derelict lighthouse of the Dran, there was once a beacon of hope that guided the Fae ever on. Yet that light need not stay dampened. Will you light the way? Have you the courage to set right what the gods themselves have set asunder? Decide, strange one. Duty or hope? So be it. I am not afraid of the world to come. I regret only that I was unable to salvage this once great kingdom. Alas. It was not to be. Do what must be done, and make quick work of it. Goodbye. Goodbye, sweet Fay. Goodbye, my king. Until we meet again across the distant horizon. Now, strange one, do it now. choice has been made, a fate seal. Tell me, and pray that your words are sufficient to save your insignificant life. She is dead. The lady is dead. The one soul who could faintly understand the weight of my crown and power. Former advisor and friend. She is dead. Killed. Good. Yes, you have done well, Traveler. You killed a goddess. Most impressive. Your reward is my respect. And a swift death. After all, it is only a matter of time until you set your sights higher still. Treachery shall not be allowed. Death to traitors! Make your peace, filthy mortal. But first, 
Your death may wait a moment. Now that I look closer, there, upon your putrid person, my own sittle. A traitor's dagger. That you would appear before me equipped as such speaks to insolence beyond the likes of even the savage fame. Such insolence comes at a price. Death and agony, rot and decay. That is all your puny future holds now, mortal. Come, I shall not sully my throne with your unworthy blood. Oh, you scrapped the wrong guy, baby! 